So we're now going to give an example um, of a proof by chain of uh, equivalences. What we're going to prove is, or what we're going to solve, I could say, is actually the following quadratic equation. And to do this, we need the following facts. We need that for any numbers a and b that are equal, or a, a is equal to b rather, um, if and only if a plus c is equal to b plus c. So here, we're going to do exactly this, and we're gonna add by a specific number. So we're gonna do what's called completing the square. So we are actually going to add here by 25 divided by four. And if you're not familiar with this technique, it may seem a bit mysterious. So what's the point? Well, the point is to get this on the form of a square where x appears without, um, x, where x appears alone in a parenthesis with some constant here, let's call it d. So if we multiply this out, you'll see that x we get x squared plus 2d, uh, 2dx plus d squared. And here we have the x squared, and here we have the x squared. Here we have 5x, and here we have 2dx. So for 2dx to be 5x, this needs to be 5. So for 2d to be 5, well, that's the same as if I have d equal to 5 halves. But if d is equal to 5 halves, d squared is equal to 25 divided by 4 which is exactly that guy. So the observation here is that if I put five halves here, then this expression here is the same as these terms here. And in particular, I'm writing a nicer expression that eats up those two terms. The price I had to pay was to add by the correct uh, constant here. So let's remove this thing. So what does this give me? Well, this gives me now uh, x plus 5 halves to the square plus 4 is equal to 25 divided by 4. And I mean, I want to solve this equation. So now I'm trying to get these, I'm trying to get my x as alone as possible. So I move my 4 to the other side. So I get 25 fourths minus 4. That's the same as 25 fourths minus 16 divided by 4, which is 9 divided by 4. Then on the other on the left-hand side here, I have five halves uh, like this. And now I need another fact here. I need the fact that if a squared is equal to b, and this is a positive number, then this is the same as if I have a uh, equal to plus square root of b or a equal to minus square root of b. And that statement is sometimes written uh, more briefly as a equals to plus minus square root of b. So I can use this. So then I write x plus 5 halves is equal to plus minus the square root of this, which is 3 divided by 2. And then I can move 5 halves to the other side. So this is equal to minus 5 halves plus minus 3 halves, which I can write out. And now, so I mean, there are two possibilities here. Either I add 3 halves or I subtract 3 halves. If I add, I get minus 2 divided by 2. If I subtract, I get minus 8 divided by 2. And this is then minus 1 and minus 4. So this is saying exactly, I could have written out here, x is equal to minus 1 or x is equal to minus 4. This is what I mean when I write this. So that actually solves uh, my quadratic equation. And now let's do something very similar. Let's do, uh, let's factorize this. So by factorizing, I'll do basically the same thing once more, but I'll do it in the form uh, of chain of equalities, not equivalences. So my goal now is slightly different. So my goal is to rewrite this as a product of two factors that roughly look like what's inside of here. And well, my first goal is to complete the square. So I'm going to add by 25 divided by four, like this. But since I'm now doing a chain of equalities, to, to preserve the equality, I need to subtract by the same thing. So actually I'm just adding by zero here, and this is a four. Now as before, I can make this into a square like this. And this four here is the same as 16 divided by four. Uh, which together here makes this minus nine fourths like this. And I'm going to use yet another rule. So a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b times a plus b like this. And I'm going to use it with the thing inside of here being my a. And well, it says nine fourths here, 
that 9 fourths is the same as 3 halves to the square. So 3 halves is my b. So I get this minus 3 halves times this plus 3 halves. I'm using this formula. So this is x plus 2 halves times x plus 8 halves, giving me x plus 1 times x plus 4. Now I factorized it using basically the same technology, mathematical technologies here. And now I can ask, what if I want to solve this thing? Well, this thing is zero if and only if that thing is zero. But we know that if a, if a product of two factor is zero, this is true if and only if a one of the factors is zero, right? Like this. So if this product is zero, it's because either this guy is zero or that guy is zero. But this is zero if x is minus one, and this is zero if x is minus four, which is exactly what I found here. So you can see if we, if we factorize an expression, we are doing basically sort of the same as when we solved uh, the corresponding equation here, but we're getting a little bit more. We're getting a new expression for him that we could use somewhere else in, in, in whatever problem we're, we're working on.